uh, I can tell you one thing. Everyone struggles with, and everyone most definitely hates, rate problems. Especially when we throw what we call work rate problems. Uh, what you might be thinking of is, what is a work rate problem? Well, a work rate problem is a problem in which um, the problem might start off by saying, you have a certain amount of people who can do a job in a certain amount of time, how long or uh, how much work or how, you know, how many people would it take to finish the job, whatnot. Um, and this is actually a very difficult problem for most students, and it's not a problem that's seen a lot in school. But it's actually very, very simple if, uh, uh, if, you're, if you know the way, if you're taught the way how to do it. Uh, let's look at a quick example here of how to work a work rate problem. And hopefully, uh, whenever you see this on the SAT or any standard, any test for that matter, any homework, whatnot, you would be like, yes, an easy problem that I know how to do now. Um, the first problem, oh, let's look at an example here of what we call a work rate problem. Um, let's just say that three students can finish a math assignment in three hours. Mm. How long would it take ten people to do the same assignment. Now the thing about these problems is that it is always assumed that every single person is working at the same rate, meaning that no one, not one more person, not one person is more skilled than another person. Uh, you might have like a bunch, these might be all teachers, they might be all students, but they're all at this exact same skill level. Uh, one person is not going to be working at a faster rate. Even if it is, it doesn't really matter what we're going to be doing. The way this problem is taken into account is it just assumes that everyone works at the same rate. Um, and the answer will always work itself out. Um, a lot of times, or a lot of you students might out there remember this equation, sometimes called the dirt equation, which is called d equals rt, where d represents the distance, r represents the rate, or uh, the speed of travel, and t will represent the time, the time of travel or whatnot. What I've done here is I've actually rewritten this equation, reformed this equation to be something a little bit different. I've actually defined an equation where we will actually do work equals R T P. W equals R T P, where W will represent the amount of work that's done. And the reason I want to do W is because you might actually be traveling a certain distance. In this case, we're not. We're actually doing some math here. Uh, R is the rate that the people are working at. Time is the amount of time it takes. And P would represent the number of people that are working. And all rate problems, or most rate problems, can be solved using proportions. And that's because the rate is always assumed to be the same. So what we're going to do here is we're going to solve this equation for r. And I can do that by dividing the tp over. Nearly r is equal to w over tp. And what did I say? That this guy is going to remain constant. So all we got to do is find enough information to get uh, this rate, and then it'll just stay the same. And usually you can do that by looking at the first piece of information given to us, which is usually in the first sentence or phrase. It says three students can finish a math assignment in three hours. Well, let's think about it. How much work have they done? They finished a math assignment. How many math assignments? Not, three, not ten, not three, not hundred. A math assignment, which means that we've done one assignment. The time it took was three hours and the number of people was three students. So our rate becomes 1 over 9, which is the amount of work done per person per time. Now since this rate is going to stay the same, 
we can just set up a proportion. But remember that since there were three parts, work, time, and people, I'm going to put a set of parentheses for each position. And then you need to determine, are we looking for the work, how much uh, work was done, or how many assignments were completed? Are we asked to uh, find how much time, or how many people it would take to do it? Reading the question says, how long would it take 10 people to do the same assignment? So how long, hopefully you guys all know, means we're looking for the time. Meaning that we should know these two. How long would it take 10 people, so the people is 10, to do the same assignment? The same assignment, so it's just one, um, one on math assignment. So our equation becomes 1 over 9 is equal to 1 over 10t. We can cross multiply and we get 10t is equal to 9, cross multiplication, and dividing you get t is equal to 9 tenths, which means that it will take 9 tenths of an hour if you want to convert that to minutes, uh, just multiply that by 60, which is going to give you a total of 54 minutes, a little bit less than an hour.